Hi, my name is Kate Mormon. I am the nurse for Lima Senior High School, and I'm also the director of health services for Lima City Schools. I just wanted to uh, send a message to tell you how excited I am to be starting another school year. And I know it's gonna look a lot different and things look a lot different in our school and in the community, but how excited we are that you're sending your kids back to um, Lima City Schools. I want you to know that we have so many safety measures in place. Um, it's no secret that nothing is foolproof, but we have done so much as far as cleaning and sanitation and um, different policies in place to safely get as many students as we can back to school and in school learning. So we have really ramped up our cleaning and our sanitation practices. Um, we're going to be doing temperatures at the door on every student that comes in. All students are going to be masked and we gave two masks to every, um, to every student. Um, we're going to have traffic control kind of in the hallways. It's going to look a lot different, but we have done a lot of things to put things in place so we can safely get our kids back to school and keep them healthy, keep their families at home healthy, and keep all of our staff healthy. One thing I do um, want our families and our community to know that if your child is sick and if it's something abnormal for them, obviously kids have asthma, kids have allergies, kids have irritable bowel problems and all kinds of issues. But if your child is sick and it is something abnormal, we do want you to keep them home. We want you to keep them home for at least 24 hours, see if their symptoms get better. If they don't, then we want you to call your primary care provider or you know call the, your school nurse and we can kind of direct you where to go. We have Spartan Health Center here at the high school. But if your child is sick, we do want you to keep them home. But if you, um, but we also want you just to ask your child in the morning, you know, how do you feel? Do you feel, do you feel good today? Do you feel like you got a headache or you're more tired than usual? Those are the questions we want you to ask your students. Um, how's your stomach feeling? Um, those kind of things. If you can take their temperature at home, great. We would really appreciate that. But they will get their temperature rechecked as they walk in the building every day. Um, one thing, big thing you can do to help your child stay healthy is hand washing as often as you can. When they come home from school, the first thing they should do is stop and wash their hands with soap and water. We are gonna be reiterating that over and over and over at school. And we have hand sanitizer available as well, but hand washing is your primary line of defense against any kind of illness, not just COVID. We'll be doing a lot with social distancing, and we have a lot of um, posters that are gonna be up throughout the school um, to remind people of social distancing. We will spread students apart as far as we can in the classrooms. We have all kinds of, um, like plexiglass barriers that we're gonna be utilizing for different things. Um, traffic control will be kind of staggering locker breaks and restroom breaks and things like that to, to do as much social distancing as we can. Um, the other thing, a big thing obviously, is, is kind of all the talk is the masks. So those are really, really important. And as of yesterday, he extended that. So all children's grades K through 12 will be required to wear a mask. Teachers will allow for mask breaks in the classes. And those are gonna look a little different probably in each class, but it will be safe, done safely. And they will allow that in, in each class period. When you put a mask on, a mask or a shield should cover your nose, your mouth and your chin. If you if your child can't wear a mask for some reason or other, we, we still say masks are better protection, but shields should again cover, it should wrap around their face and it should go below their chin. Um, when you put a mask off and on, we don't want you to touch the mask itself a lot just because that has germs on. So what we ask you to do is, and this will just take practice and all of our teachers are gonna be working with our kids um, as much as we can and if you could at home as well. We ask you to hold it by the ear loopholes or if it's one that ties on the back, just kind of hold it by that tie on the back. You put it on, you put it over your ears. You might wanna just grab just a real little bit and pull it underneath your chin and then you try not to touch it. And this is gonna take some practice for kids because even as adults, we like to touch our face and especially when there's something on it, but we wanna really um, try not to touch our face much. When we take our mask off, we take it off again by the loopholes and we just fold the inside corner, the outside corners in. And that's how, and that's how we take our mask off. So we're not touching it so much. And then we wash our hands and that kind of thing. Um, one thing I need you to reiterate is we work very, very closely, um, nearly on a daily basis with our local health department. And we will work closely with them to contact Trace and to do anything they need us to do if, um, as far as helping our kids. We are gonna get sick kids at school and, and sick staff members in, in that. But honestly, we need to remember that we have all these parameters in place. We have nurses in each building that can do good assessments on our kids. Um, there'll be a lot of communication back and forth with parents. Um, 
but we work closely with our health department and if there's any contact tracing or whatever that needs done, we will, we will assist them. Again, I just want to thank you very much for trusting your students to come to Lima City Schools. I feel very confident that we have a really good plan in place to get all of our kids back in the building and um, keep them safe, keep their families safe, safe and keep our um, staff safe. If you have any questions, I can be reached at any time. I'm at Lima Senior um, and I look forward to seeing all these kids back in school. Thank you.